The fried fish. Oop. Luo Wang Zi Yu. Cooking up. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Appa is going to make some braised fish today. Uh, I have uh, approximately 300 grams of uh, fish um, that I cut into cubes, big cubes or big chunks, yeah? big chunks, a bit of uh, fish head together with some uh, body, fish body. This is actually coming from a grouper fish. Yeah? Later, we are going to deep fry this. Yeah? We are going to deep fry the fish, then we will make some nice classic, authentic, um, salted bean uh, sauce, yeah? So, uh, I'll be using some of my cooking apple chicken salt powder where you can get it from Shopping Malaysia or Singapore for those who are interested. And this is the, the key to it. I have uh, personally one teaspoon of Taoju and also one teaspoon of salted black bean. So it's, I'm going to use a combination between these two beans. You can costly chop the bean if you want. It will it help it to release the flavor easier. Then I have a few cloves of garlic, ginger, fresh coriander roots, and also chili. So first of all, we are going to season, marinate the fish a little bit with a little bit of salt, fine salt. I'm going to give it some white pepper and also some cornstarch. And let's just mix everything up. Then we can actually just leave it aside and go and prepare the oil. Alright, let's heat up some oil here. You want it on high heat. Notice my fish did not splatter because of the cornstarch. The cornstarch has actually soaked up the excessive oil, uh, sorry, excessive water on the fish itself so that it doesn't um, splatter anymore. So we're just going to fry the fish for approximately about 5 minutes, I would say, plus minus. So the first rule of for frying fish is after you put in, put the fish into the hot oil, don't flip it too fast. Let it uh, fry for about a minute plus, then only you can uh, try to adjust to move it a little bit. Yeah, This is already like one minute plus. And we are going to fry this until it is uh, crispy outside at least, then it gives it more flavour. Now some people is asking Appa, what kind of oil do you use to fry things? Usually I use a palm cooking oil because it is very cheap and it can sustain high heat. That is exactly the characteristic of a good uh, frying oil. And uh, what's, go what's going to happen after you fry the fish, the, ex the, ex the remaining oil, you can actually uh, filter it a little bit and also keep it inside a standard steel pot and use it one last round if you want and if the oil is still very clean. Uh, if, if not, just throw it away. Mm, at least this oil that we are using is quite affordable. I won't use the word cheap, but quite affordable. This is after another one minute plus. Carefully, we adjust them a bit. Because you don't want, try not to break the meat, yeah? Some say, uh, some ask Appa, can they straight away uh, make the fish stew without frying the fish or not? Um, the fish will tend to break easier. So it would be better if you can fry the fish a little bit. I'm going to, and, and furthermore, I really like the enhanced flavor after the fish is fried. Look at the beautiful golden color. Look at this. It already looks very, very appetizing. Actually, without cooking further, the fish is already edible, just like this. <laughs> Do 
To be honest, for the amount of fish I have here, this pot is a little bit smaller. Can be a bit bigger, then it will be even nicer. It should leave some space in between the fish so that they can fry better. But sometimes when we are doing at home, we have all these uh, limitations when it comes to utensil. Now it's approximately five minutes. I'm going to give it another one, two minute, then I will take it out and put it onto a oil absorbing paper. All right, this is approximately five, six minutes. So here's my fried fish, put it on top of the oil absorbing paper and while we make the broth. Actually this oil is still very clear, so what you need to do is just to sieve it and then you can put it inside a, a standard steel oil container and use it one last, one last round if you want. Alright, so let's heat up some oil here. I'm using the oil where I used to fry my fish just now. And we are going to put in the ginger, garlic, fresh coriander and also the chili. And the beans, yeah, the Taoju together with the salted bean, salted black bean. And let's saute it for a minute or two before we continue. This is after sauteing for about a minute or two. You can really smell the nice spray aroma right now. What I'm going to add in some Saoxing wine. For those who don't take alcohol, you can just omit the Saoxing wine, don't worry. All you need to do is just to add some water. Right. And as usual, I'm going to turn this water into chicken stock by adding one teaspoon of my cooking apa chicken stock powder. And we can now start seasoning. Give it a little bit of salt, a bit of oyster sauce, a bit of sugar, some light soy sauce. Let's bring this to a boil before we continue. Now if you like a darker color, you can add in a bit of dark soya sauce. Not too much because dark soya sauce can make your dish bitter. Mmm, super fragrant right now, seriously. Next thing, we will just add in the fried fish. Oop. Luo wang zi yu. I'm just going to let it simmer for a while. Now, there are two, um, two ways on how you can serve this particular dish. You can actually serve it without cornstarch or with cornstarch. So today I'm going to add in a little bit of cornstarch. Nothing wrong with uh, both ideas. Just depends on what kind of uh, method you prefer. And usually Appa is not really a very uh, starch person, uh, so to speak. So any of my dish will not be too starchy. All right, the flavor has start to sink in goes inside to the fish itself. This is after probably about 2-3 minutes, yeah? Simmering. And I'm going to add in some starch solution inside. Give it a few dashes of white pepper. It's basically done. We're just going to garnish it with some fresh coriander on top. That's it. So our fish stew is ready. Not too difficult. Just get a very fresh Fish, that is the most important part. So here's my Hong Sao Yu. Give it some fresh coriander on top. That's it. If you like my very simple video today, uh, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Up our Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on the Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.